Drastic action is needed on climate change. That's the message thousands of school students will deliver as they gather around the country at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Students taking part in the annual global event have put together five key demands that they want actioned from politicians. School strike for climate Aotearoa leader Oscar Compton Moen joins us this morning from Christchurch. Thanks for joining us, Oscar. So the timing of these strikes today, three o'clock, is happening after school this time around. What was the thinking behind the timing? Yes, yeah, so we have a variety of different times around Aotearoa, but most of them are at three o'clock. Um, we were thinking that this would help reduce the disruption on, on the school. Um, obviously, it's been quite disruptive the past few years, so we just want to reduce that disruption as much as possible and make sure that as many people as possible can get to the strikes. Um, because obviously it's a massive issue at the moment, so we just want to increase the awareness for the issue. Yeah, what, what kind of impact do you think it will have on numbers who turn out? Well, obviously we hope it will be a good impact. Um, we think that it will help with getting more school students there. Um, obviously we've got internals and externals for the high school students, so not having to worry about that will probably help out a bit more. Um, and then obviously for university students, getting them down as well will be crucial to having a successful strike. Oscar, there are five uh, national goals for the strike. Uh, among them, no new fossil fuel mining, uh, lower the voting age to 16. I'm interested in this one, rebates on e-bikes for low-income households. Uh, how much do you think a rebate should be on an electric bike? Um, I'd say about 30 to 40 percent. So around, I think an average e-bike is usually around $4,000. So maybe a um, thousand to two thousand dollars. Mainly for that one, it's just about um, creating a conversation about how Aotearoa transports and trying to move towards a more sustainable and active public transport system. And how many people do you think that that would take off the road? Um, it's hard to know the exact numbers. However, um, with the um, EV uptake, we've had 52% increase in electric vehicles. And so we hope that um, providing an alternative to taking like cars would help out a lot with reducing the traffic and congestion on the roads um, while also encouraging people to use more active um, modes of transport. So do you think there are currently people who don't cycle but would cycle if they had an e-bike as opposed to a regular bike? Yeah, well, e-bikes are very expensive, but they're also great for getting to places quickly. Um, for those who are who might live 6, 7k away, where it would otherwise take 30 minutes to cycle into work. With an e-bike, you can do that a lot quicker. Um, and e-bikes are quite expensive at the moment, so you want to make, th um, make them more available to everyone. So one to $2,000 uh, rebate per e-bike, that could add, add up to a reasonable amount for the government to budget for. Obviously, pressures in this, year, this year's budget to uh, the rebuild after the, the cyclone um, and inflationary pressures. Is there a specific policy that you believe could be cut to fund this? Um, no, nothing in particular to cut. However, we do think that um, potentially taxing the wealthier uh, people in Aotearoa would help out a lot. Um, it would be quite a small, uh, a small amount of money in the grand scheme of things. Um, so it would be quite minor overall. Okay. And also it would help reduce the future costs that we'll have from climate change. Uh, because obviously we can't continue with the status quo. If we just keep having cyclone after cyclone, those costs are going to add up really quickly. And if we don't do anything, it's just going to continue to pile up on us. And soon we won't be able to afford anything. So in the wake of Cyclone Gabrielle, what do you think should be done for people who are in those cyclone hit areas? Yeah, well, obviously at the moment we need to support them, whether that's food, water, um, getting transport uh, methods back up and running. However, we need, to look to the, we need to look to the future now and find out ways that we can reduce um, those events from having such a dire impact, whether that is by taking climate action now to reduce them from happening in the first place or to also have better plans in place to make sure that those people are protected from such weather events as they become more common. And what, what actions do you think will make our cities better able to withstand these kinds of events in the future? Yeah, so obviously we need to um, have more sponge-like cities, so we need to have more grass, uh, more wetlands, because covering up a city that was once covered in like a floodplain and now covering it up in concrete is never going to work in a flood. 
So not only do we need better drainage, but we also need to have more sustainable cities that are built around nature and with nature rather than on top of nature. We want to work with Tangata Whenua to make sure um, that we have sustainable practices in place and we build sustainable cities. And again, the best way you think to fund this? Um, obviously, we think that we can tax the rich or through um, taxing the wealthier people in Aotearoa. They're currently um, under representation in tax, so we want to increase that. Um, but also decreasing funding on other uh, progress, um, sorry, on other projects such as um, massive highway upgrades that are not necessary. Um, we do not want to continue to encourage people to keep uh, using roads. We want to um, try and transfer them into more active and public methods of transport. Mm -hmm. what, what highway upgrades do you think aren't necessary? Nothing in particular, but just adding extra lanes onto highways is not necessary. We do not need to keep adding congestion to the cities, especially in Auckland. Adding another lane just never works. We need to have other modes of transport that work for everyone, like public transport, like um, the e-bikes or other active modes of transport, like walking. School Strike for Climate Aotearoa leader Oscar Compton-Mowen. Oscar, thank you so much for your time this morning.